The internet is flooded with Ghibli Studio style images with the launch of OpenAI's image generator which is available in ChatGPT 4.0. But for architects, its potential goes far beyond just aesthetic Instagram posts. This image generator opens up new creative workflows that were previously time consuming or technically challenging. Currently, some free users are able to access it while I had to purchase the plus plan to access ChatGPT 4.0. The reason why this AI tool is being talked about widely is because this is truly a benchmark and a great leap from all the other AI tools available in the market. There are many examples of how OpenAI's image generator can produce accurate marketing and branding images including text and typography. But how can this tool benefit the architectural community? So that is exactly what we'll be exploring in this video today. We will walk through six use cases of this tool and this can truly transform how we design, communicate and present our ideas. I'm Salman, an architect and illustrator. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you can be updated with all the latest news in the industry. So let's get started. Number one is sketch to render. There are many tools in the market that can produce accurate results from sketches, but there is always a margin of error and the design getting changed. But this tool is one step further. Let's begin by heading over to ChatGPT. Inside the dropdown, we have an option called create image, but for most of these demonstrations, it wasn't necessary to select this. Let's begin by uploading an image, which is a simple sketch of a tower elevation. This image by itself was created in mid-journey. I tried creating a conceptual elevation that has elements like the building, trees and human figures to have a variety. Now there's no set formula on how you type the prompt, but we'll have to make sure to properly describe what we're trying to achieve so that ChatGPT will be able to reinterpret it. In this case, I'm trying to give specific details to the building tower a brief description of the environment and also mention ChatGPT to retain the horizontal format of the image. The image generation does take a bit of time and that depends on the complexity of the image that we're trying to create. In this demonstration, I've had images that took 1 minute and up to 5 minutes to generate. Take a look at the result and this is quite stunning. We've been looking at different AI tools in this channel for the past one year and by far, the quality of the image that has been generated here is absolutely stunning. This really looks like an actual photograph without any difference. The quality of the textures, realism and composition are top notch. We also have a tool which we can use to generate specific parts or change and modify them. For example, let's select the top right corner and add a tree branch to enhance the composition. The crazy part of this is that all of these are completely editable and you can modify your prompt accordingly to make these edits. For the next example, I've used an even more sketchy elevation to see what ChatGPT can create. Surprisingly, the output of this image was remarkable as well. Now sketch to image is not just restricted to sketches, but you can actually use screenshots from your 3D model on both exteriors and interiors to create realistic visuals. In this case, I've used a screenshot of a SketchUp model and I've described it using prompts to create the visuals. In this case, it did have a bit of an issue in the positions of the elements, but considering the quality and the overall output, that can be forgiven. Number two, modify elements in image. We can add, subtract, or modify elements in an image using ChatGPT. Let's see how it works. I've uploaded a simple image that I found on Pinterest, which features the famous Erms lounge chair and a library and a window on the background. Let's try replacing the Erm chair with a modern egg chair in orange color. The prompt was pretty straightforward and I've also mentioned to retain the vertical format of the image. You can pretty much see the results for yourself. The image generator was able to exactly locate the position of the Erm chair and replace it with the egg chair. What is more surprising is the shadows that are created for the new chair. It looks absolutely seamless and all the other elements are retained in the image. Now let's take this a step further and truly test the potential of ChatGPT. I'll be uploading two images and ask ChatGPT to replace the sofas on the first image with the chair from the second image. I was a bit hesitant about the result, but ChatGPT did not disappoint. It seamlessly removed the sofa from the image and replaced it with a chair reference that we provided. But what about the other chair on the opposite direction? Let's use the edit selection tool, make a selection on the opposite side and mentioned to add the same direction facing the back side. Now that is some really impressive capabilities. Notice that the reference image that we provided only shows the front side of the chair. The capabilities of ChatGPT is so good that it is able to produce the back view of the chair. And finally, I also tried experimenting 
with a mood board that I found on the internet, I asked ChatGPT to use all the elements in the mood board and create an interior view. The result was up to the mark as well for the simple prompt that we provided. We can of course elaborate the prompt to get better results. Number 3. Create architectural cutouts. Now this one is quite interesting. We can produce any kind of architectural cutout in any style we want using ChatGPT directly. We'll have to start by describing that we need a transparent PNG image and then specify what kind of character that we want to create. We could also use the keywords such as realistic, illustrated or silhouette to describe the specific style of image that we want. And of course ChatGPT will have errors like these once in a while. So make sure to refine it. Within no time, we have an illustrated image of a woman carrying umbrella in a side view. Let me actually download it and add it inside Photoshop to show you that this is actually a PNG image. This can open a wide range of possibilities and you can create your own infinite set of assets to use in your drawings and presentations. I also tried creating a PNG cutout of a cherry tree in watercolor style and this result was satisfactory as well. We could use this tool to create human figures, plants, bushes, vehicles, animals and much more. Number 4. Change the atmosphere. You can completely alter the mood of an image using just prompts. I began by choosing an interior view that has a large window and also a fireplace. Let's try turning this into a night or an evening view so the prompts can be accordingly. I wanted the space to be primarily lit by the fireplace and also have some lighting fall from the windows on the right side. Here's the result that you can see for yourself. One of the most difficult part in architectural visualization is to get the lighting right and you can see the effect and quality of the lighting created in this image generator. This has totally flipped the mood of the reference image that we provided. Let's experiment this a bit further. I've used this image of a cafe which is in daytime. Let's try turning this into an evening view, also adding some people and creating some life into the environment. Of course, we've seen the potential of ChatGPT by now, so the result definitely did not disappoint. Number 5. Presentation Boards Now you don't have to go to Google to search presentation inspirations, you can search for it directly inside ChatGPT. Here's an example of an architectural presentation board that I previously created using Sora. The prompt that I used was to create a modern museum and have specified the style as neo-futuristic. You can list the type of drawings that you want and in this case I've mentioned plants, sections, elevations, perspective views and interiors. Here are two results that were generated from the prompt. The text heading that you see on the panel is not something that we were previously able to see on most of the AI platforms. Text descriptions is something that AI always messes up but in this current update AI is able to nail it. I also wanted to take you through another similar LinkedIn post from Ismail Selye. He has experimented with a lot of similar architectural presentation boards and there's a variety of designs that were created. You can see that the platform is able to create somewhat similar flow plans and other detailed drawings and all of these falls into a similar cohesive visual. Also, we can download the result and we can enhance it further by giving more specific prompts. Here's a comparison of the before and after and I've used some specific keywords to improve it. Number 6. Conceptual Designs You can take a site image and create conceptual designs using just prompts. I found an image of an empty vacant land and let's try experimenting this with ChatGPT. Let's try creating a residential complex in this vacant land mention it as a sustainable style of architecture, fluid form and an aerial view. I also want to add road, trees and streets in the image generation. We can specify the horizontal format and see what it creates. We were able to create image generations like these previously with other AI platforms as well, but definitely not this easy and of this quality. That is exactly why this update from OpenAI has been the talk of the town. You can see the result for yourself that with such a simple prompt, this image generation tool was able to create a result that actually seems workable. It has not just created some fluid architectural forms, but it seems to be a functional architectural program. Take a look at the internal roads, landscapes and circulation. This is definitely an exciting tool to look forward to. On the next prompt, I tried creating a night view, adding street lamps and light inside these forms. Here's the result that was generated. As you can see, OpenAI's image generator is not just for creating fancy images, 
it can go far beyond and it can completely change the way we design and share our ideas. From early sketches to final presentations, it can help make the process faster, easier and more creative. And this is just the beginning of how AI is going to truly revolutionize the design industry. How would you like to use this in your design workflow? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you found this video to be helpful and if you did, please hit that like button and share this with your friends. You can follow me on Instagram and the handle is right here. I'll see you on the next one.